Cleo configuration you have right there, we won a Clio award for it because uh, it has these virtual reality uh, goggles inside of this package here. It's like a piece of cardboard. You can fold into some heavy metal origami and it turns into one of those Ocul Oculus Rift visors and slip your smartphone in there. Really? You have to download an app for it and then uh, you can watch our performance of six songs in 360 degree virtual reality. Was uh, is that expensive? Did that cost a lot to do this then? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet. We had a great company uh, step up to the plate and do that for us, and and uh, we were the first guys to do it. And <coughs> excuse me, the Clio Awards is is um, this crazy thing where uh, it, it's mostly for just business advertisement. You know, Honda and Budweiser, you know, they do it for like the Clydesdales and stuff like that. Yeah. So. We got really uh, fortunate to get that award. Do you play PlayStation? Um, I did a long, long, long time ago. Oh. Hurt my hands a lot, though. Yeah, you got carpal tunnel from it. Yeah, Nintendoitis. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do it. I used to be addicted to it. And all of a sudden, I realized I hadn't done it in a month. I just forgot to do it. Mm. And then I just stayed off, off of it and gave it away to some kid or, or my junk or my things. Uh, it's been about eight years. I won. I'm sure they've gotten a lot better, right? Yeah, they have. I remember the game that I, that I got. I I like this comic from uh, Marvel called The Punisher, and they had this one game, and I had to beat that game. I promised my wife. I said, I swear to God, as soon as I beat this friggin' game, I'm getting rid of it. And, and sure enough, as soon as I finished it, it was gone because it just sucked me in. Yeah. But do you think there's some good parts to it? Like, you're actually using your brain a lot, even though some people think you're just wasting time. Do you think mm. you have to be alert, right? You know, even though you're, it's kind of a, it's kind of a mem, it's kind of. By hand coordination. There's got to be something. You're working there. your brain out. There's yeah? got to be something there. I, I mean. Th I think if you want a career running droid, uh, drones for the military, the military or something like that, you know, it might be cool. Yeah. You know, I can't see doing online golf. <laughs> no. My 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 best games were Second World War. I oh, used yeah. to, I used to love anything Second World War sniper stuff mm. where you could slow Great down. Shooter stuff, yeah. You could take your time. That's the kind of stuff I like. I didn't like too much too yeah. quick all at once. Mm -hmm. I hope I don't do it again now. It was good for a while, but yeah, it's gotten really advanced though. Now we we had done something uh, a few records ago too. We had a song called Gears of War that we'd written uh, for uh, the game Gears of War. And um, that was another uh, you know, incredible shoot 'em up kind of uh, game. You know, We've had a lot of Grand Theft Auto uh, versions that we've had songs appear on. And yeah. um, a, a lot of games, we've uh, actually been real fortunate for that. You know, it's weird though, because when you think of, of uh, video game music, you usually think of like stuff for, you know, Pac-Man or Super Mario. Yeah. So when when you look at some of the soundtracks nowadays for some of these games, they're you know they're pretty pretty stout. Yeah, I like I used to like the uh, the one you just said, uh, Grand Theft Auto. It kind of remind that's what L.A. reminds me of now. Is like a Grand <laughs> no Theft doubt. Auto game. Um, but um, I like the um, it's so crazy when you know you get them different levels of alert in the cops. Mm. So you're like, you know, there's about a thousand cops cars coming at you. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. My days of that, that's over, I think. Um, you, you're done touring? No, as a matter of fact, we're getting ready to uh, head out again um, in a couple of weeks. We've got some shows coming up uh, overseas. Uh, we're going to uh, Kuala Lumpur. Excuse me, Kuala Lumpur. Dang these hiccups. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, where we have, uh, we were banned before because there was uh, a murder that had taken place there, and somebody had um, spray painted Megadeth on on the wall where this murder was, and of course they yeah. painted it on us, and we got blackballed there for for ten years. You didn't have to go to court for it, though. No. We just never could play there. Uh, fortunately, they, you know, they came to their senses and realized that, you know, we didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. And we're going there. Yeah. You still enjoy playing? 
I do. My hands hurt uh, from arthritis because, you know, I'm 55 now and, and shredding at that intense intensity you yeah. know you go out on tour for several months you know it it, it does you know lead to you know so you just pick your dates then you just do a few here and there no we we do real bona fide tours when we get out on tour we go we we did i think uh god if i remember right we did over 100 shows last year ah so i mean it's not as much as we used to do because i remember you know we used to do like 300 shows a year yep but uh, you know everybody's grown up and has kids and you know stuff like that. So we tour smart now, smarter instead of harder. How long is your sets for? Uh, Ninety minutes, uh -huh. sometimes more. Usually, if we're uh, headline, if we're supporting, you know, it can be anywhere from forty-five minutes to seventy-five. Yeah, I like I like shows that are an hour and fifteen. Yeah, those are quick. Then I'm but done. <laughs> No, I'm done looking at it, let alone playing it. It's like I, I get bored half of that. Some I can see where that would happen. You know, the, the thing is, is now with the technology and the production for shows, you know, shows <coughs> have become more of something to watch than to listen to. So the playing has to be superb. Yeah. And if the playing isn't, you know, stellar and, and you really are left with just relying on the production, if the production isn't great, you've just wasted an hour and a half of your life. Yeah. Yeah, so you're still making a bit of bread doing it then. Me? When you do it, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we're we're paying the bills. We're we're happy. We're keeping everybody uh, that's with the band happy. Um, I think the most important thing uh, for us was that we 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 never got into this for the money. So that was never you know one of the motivating factors. Some bands, you know, they look at it like that as it's it's a formula. You know, we we yeah. you know, like I was just talking to Jackie about ten C C about how they could not make a mistake and how they intentionally tried to write a bad song and it was a hit. The band ten C C. Yeah, remember those guys? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so um and and uh you know the i'm not going to say this about them because i don't know them but you know there are a lot of bands that are so formulaic it's all about you know writing the hit like for example i, I i'm just reaching thin air like pet shop boys you yeah. know you figure their songs are pretty uh, predictable you know it's it's going to be drum track and and keys and and the guys crooning and um the fans know what they're going to get yeah. It's it's consistent and it's reliable. So yeah. that's you know formula for s success. Versus other guys, you know, the one record they've got something that's you know metal. The next one's country. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, it's even if it's formula, it's still it's still hard to write what you would call a hit. It's not easy. Oh yeah, you Especially still have nowadays. to have some. Yeah, you got to guess. Yeah. And and the thing what you were saying about you know these days. I mean, if you're if you're young and you start a band, you know your chances of making dough are very slim. So you got to mm -hmm. you got to be doing it because you love doing it, mm -hmm. and and you want it's an outlet, being uh, you know, uh, an artist. But you know, making dough is your your you, you, your avenues are narrowed mm -hmm. in a lot of ways now. So, you know, you got to get lucky by getting uh, you know. Um, soundtrack a commercial in a video yeah. you know that, that you mm -hmm. can't just do how it used to be in, mm -hmm. in the old days it's a whole different ball game yeah no words are truer than don't quit your day job if you're just start starting a band yeah yeah dave mustaine um jonesy's jukebox let's play a bit of free this track's called magic ship <laughs> 